Most gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you today thankful for the gift of marriage, thankful for the love that you have given to Josh and Abigail, and we pray that today would be a special day for them, for their family, and for their friends. Lord, may they never forget the vows that they make this day, and Lord, may you bless them. Lord, we invite your presence here and now, in Jesus' name. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become sounding brass or clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. The love that God gives us through His Son is permanent and it is unfailing. It is this love alone that can make a marriage permanent and unfailing as well. So when the good feelings of today fade into the real world problems of tomorrow, then it is vital to remember that we must trust God to continue to love when everything else in us would just give up. Abigail, I remember the day we met like it was yesterday, and I never knew I'd be looking at my future wife. You have been the light of my darkness, and the reason I try so hard every day to give us the best life possible. I vow to always love you, treat you with kindness and care. I vow to never go to bed angry, and always kiss you goodnight. I vow to stay strong for you, and take care of you. Today you've become my wife, and not your husband. And this is the day I will always cherish close to my heart. I vow to you to love you unconditionally with all of my heart and soul. I'm so happy that I can finally call you my wife, and now you are forever mine. I love you so much, and I can't wait to finally call you Abigail Lee Hendrick. Joshua Allen Hendrick. I am so blessed and excited to share this moment, this hour, this day, this week, and especially this lifetime with you. You have shown me love in ways that I have never, ever felt. I vow to put God first, then you, and then I. I vow to listen to you and learn from you. I vow to laugh with you and cry a lot with you. <laughs> I vow to value our differences. I vow to put all of my effort into strengthening our marriage. I love you with every fiber of my being. I've never been more ready to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you, Joshua Allen Hendrick my adventure partner, my best friend, my biggest inspiration, my godly leader, my hero, my husband. What therefore God has joined together, let not man put asunder. I present to you Joshua and Abigail Hendrick.
be my lucky day when the stars align and clouds have gone Be my lucky day